Hey guys, just a quick update video today. Kiva's at work, but uh, I got my twin brother to come help out, uh, help with the camera and stuff. Looking good today, buddy. Thanks, looking good yourself. So yeah, we'll start by uh, just looking at a couple little things that we've improved on the inside of the house. So just a few small improvements in here, one of which is this box we built to the same height as the fender so that we could put the fridge on top and then push it all the way back to the wall, which gives us a few more inches in front here and also a space to put our shoes, which is working out pretty well. And this um, sort of approach is going to be a bit of a theme moving forward. We built that out of just uh, leftover materials and didn't finish it, obviously it's just rough. And, but it's giving us a chance to try out to see if the idea works to have a, the shoe storage under there. And um, so here's the other stuff that we've done. And on the same sort of approach, we're trying out this height for the toaster oven and this really temporary uh, cooktop surface is the height that the um, countertops are supposed to be. So we're seeing how that works when we're standing in front of it. Can we cook? Is the toaster oven uh, too high? Like we don't want it so high that we have to get up our tippy toes to look in. And right now these heights are pretty good. But the thing we did find out is that um, I bought a hood fan, standard hood fan. It was 24 inches wide, but putting it in there, it was, um, it came out too far and it's too low uh, that it actually sort of interferes with your ability to get down to this surface, mostly because the countertop surface that we have planned here, which is, has to do with where the flooring is and it's all designed this way, is very shallow. So um, we're actually gonna have to return the hood fan and I'm probably gonna build something from scratch, but this is, um, the way we're approaching it here is gonna be good to test things out one thing at a time, make sure they work and then come back and replace, um, say the shelving for example, with a nice finished thing, uh, like finished wood stained or whatever, for the final uh, product. So one of the reasons we haven't made much progress on the house is that you may have noticed recently we've been putting out videos again and a few things are all happening at once. Um, one of which is that our most recent video on Oma Homes is doing really well and getting a lot of views. Uh, and then also YouTube just updated the way they handle annotations and it has to do with mobile devices. Like you may be familiar with our end screen which I'll put up on the screen here. And we sort of laid this out so that it would work with annotations, um, which are clickable on a computer, but they don't work on phones or tablets. And now that a lot of views are coming through just in general on YouTube through mobile devices, they've created a new system that does work on them, but it's not compatible with the old annotations. So anyway, long story short, um, we're, we've taken some time to film a new end screen that's gonna use this new, um, system that YouTube has and in doing so we saw an opportunity to direct people on how to support us um, because we've co been constantly in this state of trying to decide whether we should s commit and spend more time developing our YouTube channel and our online stuff and try to make more of a living off of it or just consider that a side project and focus more on real life so um, there's there's several things that are happening right now where we're gonna try to develop our online stuff more. So um, there's gonna be, we're gonna be putting out some new videos and there's gonna be this new end screen. And basically we're just spending a little bit more time uh, on this, which is hopefully good for you. Cause obviously uh, if you're watching this video, you want to see our content. So there should be more coming your way. So I've been working on our flooring installation videos. Uh, that'll be the next building episode, but before that you're going to see uh, a really cool time lapse of an entire day of the tiny nests. Nothing exciting happens, but I just love the way time lapses look. And that was shot for a little end screen thing, which you'll see at the ends of our videos from now on. And then we're also going to publicly publish the video specifically outlining how to support us. So you'll see all those things. And then also just this morning I was involved in a webinar 
discussion uh, on the subject of Tiny House DIY. So we're going to try to get the footage from that and publish it to our channel. And then uh, I won't say too much about this, but we are possibly going to work with another tiny house company to develop some more 3D models uh, of their designs. And obviously, if that goes through, we'll be letting you know all about that as well. So lots of stuff going on, uh, as you can see, and we're really excited about it. Okay, it just started raining, but uh, one other thing that I want to share with you guys uh, that we're a little bit late on, but hopefully there's still time to get involved, is that Andrew Morrison, uh, who, if you don't know, is a very um, prominent figure in the tiny house world, is spearheading an effort to get tiny houses included in uh, the national code. Um, we're not totally familiar with it or involved with it because we're Canadian and it's an American thing, but um, I'll leave a link in the description to their blog post, which is a call to action on how you can get involved. I believe it involves um, contacting your local officials to uh, vote on the new proposal. But check out the blog post in the description if you're interested uh, in that. So here's what the new mobile friendly tiles look like. You can give them a try. Yeah, check them out. Whoa! It's too much, man. Oh, is it too much? Yeah, it's too much.